Oh, what's going on, everybody here? And welcome back to Foundry. Well, um, recently Foundry moved on over to Steam. So if you are interested, there is actually a link down below where you can take out a free demo for yourself. But we're going to hop in. I just want to kind of show off the game, show what it is, and uh, just have a good time. So we're going to hop into a brand new game, Random Seed. Let's start it up. Foundry is a, another base building, um, factory building kind of game. And holy moly, do we have a lot of plants next to us um wow yeah okay uh let's look at the map here it looks like we've got technium olamite xenoferrite and technium right there oh we got a bigger one right here oh no that's a reserve of um ooh. okay so it actually looks like right here is gonna be our spot for now Holy moly. Oh my gosh. Okay, so <laughs> let's go ahead and let's get uh, let's get some of these little nodes going. We got to do some basic stuff first, you know. We got to do some of the basic hand grindy uh, things like that. But um, I think this game is pretty neat. I think it's pretty cool because it has a it has a voxel style like terrain system, but it's not like voxel everything. You know what I mean? Like the trees aren't voxels, like things like that. Like obviously the ore is not voxel. It's just the terrain. Um, and it allows you to multiple uh, manipulate the terrain in a familiar fashion and then uh to do what you please so i think it's kind of cool it's kind of neat but let me go ahead let me get these okay so from here basically need to go straight this way is that right okay it looks like it's basically straight. oh yeah it's right there oh my gosh these are super close to each other that is a huge win Oh my gosh, that's a huge win. Okay, I'm super excited. Um, also, I'm super curious. Leave comments down below, if you would. What games are you interested in watching right now? Because right now, lately we've been playing a lot of Slime Rancher. And Slime Rancher kind of, we've done everything that there is to do. I'm going to start making some more content on it. However, I'm really squeezing it dry, if you know what I'm saying. So, I uh, I completely understand if, uh, if, if people are getting tired of watching it. So, um, yeah, leave a comment. Let me know what you're into, what you're watching, what what's caught your fancy lately and i'm curious maybe i'll check it out so yeah maybe, maybe we'll see oh you know that's actually kind of a neat way for a tree to break down is it is it okay cool um, i'm gonna go ahead and clear out a pathway all the way to oh um we're gonna have to clear out a lot here holy moly craft a primitive furnace okay how do we craft a primitive furnace um i hit is it i uh q not Q, E, forward, back. It's not tab. Tab goes through my inventory. Um, Let's see. Okay, F2 for detailed information. Mm, how do I... Oh, C for crafting. Ha <laughs> ha, I'm a dummy. All right, primitive furnace. Let's go ahead and make one of those. A, we did a thing. Okay, so let's put that here. And then what do we want to do with it? Um, uh -huh. Panel. Okay, so this is the stuff that we're going to have to hand jam, right? Yes. Uh, okay, so let's just do this. Let's just set it there for now. Craft 40 Xenoferrite plates and 20 Technium rods. Okay, so in order to do that, let's go ahead and get another one going. And we'll set it up on both. Uh, this one can go there. You configure primitive furnace, uh, Xenoferrite plates, and you are going to do Technium rods. And then manage inventory. Let's go ahead and throw that in there. And then we need a fuel source. Okay, so there's our fuel source. All right, so let's go grab some more and make some more stuff. I like this. You know, I gotta say, I actually really like this um, this layout a little bit better than my previous one. I was in like a mountainy area and it was kind of like, it was kind of boring, I'm not gonna lie. Like it, it, was, like it was cool, but it was kind of boring. So uh, this is actually kind of cool. So, all right, we're making things, making stuff. We've got 10, 11, uh, okay, cool. So let's see, we've got this area here. I wanna clear a path to the other stuff which is like what right here okay i'm gonna close i'm gonna try to clear a path that way i know where i'm at okay i cleared uh, a path so you can kind of see haha <laughs> you can see where it's at you can see the the technium on this side you can see the the xenoferrite on the other side awesome uh okay so i think i've crafted everything i needed to there's that and i'll take those all right Next to an iron ore deposit, place 20 building blocks as a foundation next to an iron, next to an ore deposit. Okay, craft 20 building blocks, place 20 building blocks. That's easy enough. So building blocks, building block. Each one makes what, five? 
Yes. All right, so these are basically our foundations. Um, let's see, what do the what do those actually take to make? It takes both. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's get this. Now we want these around this deposit, and the reason for that is because we're going to be putting down um, some little miner dudes. They're going to do some mining for us. So it's going to be super amazing. And we want to make sure that they're all happy and ready to go. Okay. Build a drone miner. Craft a drone miner and build a drone miner. And it wants to be built on here, which I don't think I have enough room now. But that's okay. So let's see. Where's our little drone miners? Drone miner. Okay. So let's get one of those. Let's go ahead and get some more foundations in here as well. Because I bet you anything that this drone miner is going to want uh what a two, at least a two by two area to be placed upon okay so oh it actually can hover and it doesn't really even care now do i need to worry about 51 mineable blocks in range 57 63 68 Okay, so 68 sounds like probably pretty good. So let's go ahead and let's do um, 57, 68. Let's just do that. <laughs> I don't know. So that'll work. And then we need to build a biomass generator to get some power on here. Okay, so I'm going to need some more plates and more stuff. Let me go ahead and get those going. All right, so we need to build a biomass generator as well. But I feel like it's going to have to be on this foundation. Uh, no, I don't need you there. How do I deconstruct F? Oh my gosh, I've done it. Okay. So one biomass generator. Max power generation, 800 kilowatts requires fuel. Okay, so we'll get one of those going. And then, oh, I really want to get some like automation going here as well i want to get some of these things automated so that we're having, not having to wait for all these machines and stuff to get done okay so where is my biomass generator right there how big are you teeny tiny craft a smelter craft a loader craft 20 conveyors build the smelter on the foundation okay we're gonna we're gonna have to do some work here uh yeah we're gonna have to go ahead and do some hand handy work here all right, so I went and I gathered all of the Xenoferrite and I gathered all of the uh, Technium off these. No, it's starting to get dark. Okay, you know what? That's actually fine because that'll give me time to go ahead and process everything, get everything uh, kind of built up. So that way when we come back, we'll, we'll be able to go ahead and build everything. Um, I forgot there's actually a day night cycle in this. So uh, yeah, kind of, kind of cool, kind of amazing actually that, you know, kind of early on in the game, there's like an actual day night cycle. So, all right, I'm going to go ahead and get some things made here. And we will uh, we'll continue on. All right, so it is still under cover of darkness. However, it's gonna get light soon. But I wanted to um, I want to kind of show you what guys what was going on here. So I put some fuel in here. It's not doing anything because there's nothing using it. Uh, this will not actually function until we get the rest of this foundation in here. Now I don't really want this foundation going over um, over this. You know, like that's like a, that's the block we need. So I went ahead and I pulled up my other foundations. And I'm gonna I'm not gonna follow the rules here. We are, we're gonna do something a little bit different. Um, I'm going to make it so that way we can start mining immediately. And I'm not going to, uh, <laughs> we're not gonna get a smelter going like right away. I wanna be able to get stuff mined up and then have it stored in a container for us. That's really what I want. So um, we're gonna go ahead and do that. Now I do actually have some logistic containers. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab those, throw that. Okay, so we got some conveyor belts. Got some of these. Okay, and there's our smelters. Okay, so let's go ahead. Let's grab. Okay, so really, what I want is this guy. I want this thing done like as soon as possible. So let's go ahead and put this. Now we have to keep it so many away because we have to have like the inserters kind of deal. So one, two, three. I think it has to go like right here. Is because is that the closest that we can do this? Building belt. 
And then basically, it's going to go belt to belt to building. I, mean, I could have it like this way. You know what? Let's do that. Let's just go like this, like this. Go ahead and go put that there. Let's get a belt in here. Go boom, boom like that. And then a building needs to go right here. I just want to get this going. So that way we're getting, we're getting stuff like, you know, uh, started and being made. Okay. And then panel. Okay. So that should in theory. Yes. See that it's filling up with the technium. Okay. Perfect. So output input already had all that. That didn't have to do anything. Fantastic. How are you looking in here? Inventory wise. Six, four, six, three, six. Two. Okay. So it looks like it's cranking down pretty quick. Yeah, it looks like it should be able to keep up. All right. So now I want to go to the exact same thing with the um, the Xeno Ferrite. That way we can at least have some ores ready to go. And I won't be focused like on one thing. We'll have something started. You know what I mean? So uh, let's go ahead and let's do the same thing. So one, we need four for the miner. That's probably not even a good spot, is it? Well, it says 56. That's not bad. Okay, we'll do that. And then let's see, um, one, two, three, four. There's our storage. Let's go ahead and grab this, that, let's grab our belt. Boom, boom. Uh, let's grab a, one of those and, oh, I need another bio generator. <gasps> no, I don't have the stuff for a bio generator. I don't have the stuff for that. I don't have, what am I missing? Xenoferrite. Oh, actually we're making Xenoferrite. So I should be good. And then, um, I did also make the smelters. These things are massive and that's why those smelters have to be on platforms as well, which is why I want to get this going because I knew we were going to need, uh, we're going to be getting short on, um, open container. Thank you. All right. Let's go ahead and take that. Let's go ahead and throw it into here. Let it do its thing a little bit. And then once that's done, then we should be able to go ahead and grab a, um, another few, uh, generator, get the other one going. Eventually this is all going to be connected, but for now we have to do like the little bits. I'm trying to automate it as much as I can, like off the bat, because the next thing from here is I am going to start smelting it. So we're not having to use those. So we can start getting auto smelted and then we can start getting some assemblers going and start making some of these foundations, make some of the basic stuff. So. Uh, but for now we need, we need the raw resources. So let's see, let's go and grab that. Do I have enough for no? Oh, Xeno ferrite plates. Do I not have, I have one and I have technium. Uh, I could take this one. You know what? Let's do that. You're coming with me. I need you. Sorry. All right, there's that. Now let's go ahead and manage inventory. Throw that in there. Ha ha ha! Now it should work. It shall work indeed. Okay, so you should. You're going the wrong way. Oh, well, I guess it doesn't really matter. Look at them go. Look at them go. And then it's going to go right into here, into storage. So that, yes, perfect. Okay, cool. Oh, wonderful. And then once those are made, we'll be able to go ahead and get a whole bunch more building blocks going, things like that. So. Because I didn't want to start like digging this out manually. Cause like, ew, manually, like what, what is this, labor, hard labor. What are you talking about? We're like a robot person. Like we don't do, we, we don't do that. Well, I guess actually robot, <laughs> I'm no different than the drones, huh? Oh shoot. And there's our plates, which means we can now go ahead and build another generator and throw it back over here for now, once it's done. All right, I'm going to go ahead and place it just like this, exactly the same spot as the other one. Manage inventory, throw those in there, and voila, we are back at it. Okay, so now what we need is I'm actually going to go ahead and delete these because I am trying to uh, to minimize as many blocks as I need. So we need a smelter. This thing is gigantic. I know it's huge. Why would they make it that big? I have no idea. Okay. So what we need in order to go out is one, two, three, four. Smelter can go there. 
let's go ahead and let's throw this should we throw the smelter on this block um i need a, I need it to be a little bit bigger actually you know what i need oh i don't have the loaders yet okay hold on before we get before we get going any further we need to get uh we gotta get some other resources going here okay so now we should be able to get this thing going okay uh so building belt building belt and then we need this be right there <laughs> now it's not gonna function because it's missing foundations but that's okay that is just fine with me it can uh, it can just sit here and do nothing for a minute so that's gonna go into there that's gonna go to there that's gonna start pulling that uh once we have foundations i might have enough foundations not positive though but i want to get the other one set up as well take the rods out you know honestly it's the xenoferrite that we don't have a lot of that's what's actually slowing me down more than anything so let's see let's go and grab another one of those because we already have one now let's go ahead and do the exact same thing over here and get ourselves a temporary thing set up one two three four and then same dealio that's there that's there all right so that is all connected up missing foundations let's go ahead and make sure our belts are good perfect okay now i might need to adjust this because like that says intake um i might need to adjust that to output which is fine we'll get that figured out but i think we're going i think we're ready to go so let me go ahead and let me try to get the rest of these foundations on here i don't know if we have enough are you kidding me oh i am just bare i'm literally short by like two is there any extra foundation okay i don't need you any extra foundations no you know i could probably make some more yeah we can make some more okay we'll be good <laughs> but now ta -da, that should configure smelter we want this to make xenoferrite plates and the only problem is that there's gonna be an inventory now i also need to click that button right there haha -ha! we got it we got it it's making the things it's doing the stuff how's the power looking now uh, it's looking pretty good okay so now that that's automatically making plates we can go over here and start making automatically making rods again we don't really need rods as much as we needed plates though so i'm actually quite excited that we're good there let me go ahead and make all of those foundations we're gonna need them all anyways and we'll get this guy up and running then we need to start getting an output so that way we're not um constantly filling the machine okay so that looks good then we need to do the exact same thing let's just do i don't know one two three four and then a little two by two. No, I'm missing blocks. And then we'll put a storage thing there. Okay. And then we got to set this to technium rods. And then we got to set this to output hood. Got it. All right. We're officially smelting stuff, people. Can you believe it? You believe it? I love it. You know, I gotta say, I really do enjoy this game. It's simple. It's easy. Um, it looks fun. It looks, it's not like, you know, it's not cra crazy graphically intensive. It's more about the factory than anything else. And the factory pieces look really good. I mean, like, that's a cool looking smelter. That's a sick looking smelter. Like, good job. Looks good. Um, okay. Now, it wants me to build, build the research lab. Now, the research lab is one of those things where once you build it, you don't really move it. Um, these other buildings I can take down, no problem. The, the research lab, however, is not the same. <laughs> it is built differently. So we're going to figure that out. But before we get to that point, I want to get a little bit more. Um, I want to get a little bit more automation going before uh, before we do that, because that's just, it's just we just need to do it, you know? OK, so I got some more blocks. So let's go ahead and get these set up here. So we can start the uh, the storage. Now, these things like this, they don't have to be that close. Um, 
it's I'm just setting them that way because I'm I'm minimizing the materials that I'm using. And that should start getting technium rods. It is. Okay, let's go do the same thing over here. And then we will have technium rods and we'll have plates being automated fully, which is oh, an absolutely fantastic good time. And we'll set this one uh, toggle output and voila. We've done it. My gosh, we've done it. We've done a thing. Can you even believe it? Huh. One robot versus a planet that's ruled by nothing but trees. We're going to win. I already have a feeling. I, I, I know. We're going to like a mass deforestation is going to happen. So in, in all actuality, this green stuff right here, that's all trees. There is a desert. There's mountains. There's things like that. And my last game, I was actually in like this mountain area. So I didn't have to clear any trees, which was, it was nice. And it's really nice for building. Uh, but this area just looks like a lot nicer. This is visually appealing. It's a pleasing to the eyes. So these guys right here, they don't need to be here anymore. They can be gone. And now we need to figure out where the heck we want our um, research lab. Uh, I don't know where I want the research lab to be honest because I don't want it so like we have we have a mine here and we have a mine there production is going to go into this area so I'm thinking if anything I'm thinking the research lab is going to go like up here out of the way um, I want it up out of the way and the reason for that is because you have to like eventually bring resources to it and um, I want to be able to build resources resources to it okay and I think it's a pretty big building too so it's not little by any means so I'm gonna have to get a whole bunch of foundations and things like that going. Actually, you know what? We probably are going to get to the point here where we could probably go ahead and hook up and connect everything. So that way we have one giant technical factory here. Uh, we could probably do that actually. Let's go ahead and let's just make all of those. And let's connect. Let's get connected, shall we? Now I'm just gonna run it. I want to run this. Actually, you know what? Maybe I should. Uh, let's run it this way. I'm gonna run it. It's just like basically. I just want to run it like straight over here. Hey! Almost there. And voila, we are now on one power grid. It's all one shared power grid now. So uh, yeah, two of those smelters, we can put those in the middle. Uh, we'll probably go ahead and fill this all with plates because why not? Uh, and then we can we can really get some things going. We could, I mean, we could, we could, we could throw, how big is it? Yeah, see, like, I don't really have enough. We could throw the, um, the factory right in here because I mean, if we're going to be pulling stuff from that way, pulling stuff from that way, like, I mean, we could put, we could put the research area like right in here somewhere. I don't know. We'll have to see. I'm going to let things run for a little bit. And, um, yeah, I want to get as many plates and stuff like that going as possible. We're at 63. We need more foundations. Kind of wish we like automated the foundations, but you know what? It is what it is. So. All right, we're still under cover of darkness, but I've been sitting here waiting for too long and I'm getting antsy. I'm getting antsy. I'm getting tired. Okay, so let's go ahead. I went ahead and I built the uh, the, rear of the lab. I built the lab. Um, Holy good gosh. I forgot how big the lab is. <laughs> it's very, very big. Okay, so let's go ahead. Let's just get it right there. Now, what we have to do with this is we actually have to um, xenoferrite plates, machinery parts, wire coil. So we have to put all of that stuff in here on top of um, everything else. And it's still not finished. So I want to go ahead and finish it off. So that way it is on foundations. Okay, so those just went in just fine. Okay, I was worried I wasn't gonna have enough. I think we're good. Let me go ahead and dig these out. 
Okay, so it should just be that one corner block right there that's not on. Okay. Oh, we got it. We did it. We did a thing. <laughs> we did a thing that took all my parts, but that's okay. So, Xenon fire plates, machine parts, wire coil. Easy enough. Let's go ahead and grab those. And then this is going to basically build a huge uh, building. And then that's where we're going to actually do our research in order to get upgrades, in order to unlock like solar panels and better machines and, you know, things like that. So, let's just go ahead and drop in. Oh, that's all I have. Okay. Uh, we're going to have to craft wire coil and machinery parts. Okay, how much wire coil do we need? A hundred wire coil. That is easy enough. All right. So the hundred wire coil, that's, that's easy enough. Uh, but the Xeno fire plates and machinery parts is basically all Xeno fire plates. So we're gonna have to wait for those, but it should be daytime. Well, it's actually gonna be daytime here shortly. So it'll be daytime and then we'll have this built and then we will be good. And then we can start focusing on getting other stuff going. <sighs> Exciting stuff. Okay, so we should have the machinery parts now. And we are almost done with the Xenoferret plates as well. We're just waiting on the last few. How many more do we actually need? We're at 164, so like 40-ish, and we'll be good. Okay, awesome. And we're at 13 right now. So <laughs> let's let that get done. And then this building is going to get built, and we're going to be able to start doing some research and have a good time. It's going to be fun. I'm actually excited to unlock solar. Solar is like... You know, once you can get to where you don't have to worry about adding fuel to stuff all the time, you can just like let things run. You can AFK it. Once you can get to AFKing a factory, that is like when things truly are just absolutely wonderful. So that is the goal, but we're gonna wait here for a few more minutes. Well, actually not even, maybe maybe a minute. Oh, look at that. They got down like two blocks, three blocks. Wow, they're doing work. Okay, should be good. I think we actually need more to keep up with this if I'm not mistaken, because like, this is constantly empty. This guy might... Are you keeping up? Yes, this isn't even keeping up. Well... It's keeping up for the most part. That was weird, though, because just a second ago it wasn't. Oh, it's because they're all mining at the same time. And then it stops for a second. Okay, yeah, we need a, we need more miners. More miners stat. But let's go and grab these. And let's get ourselves a research place going um excuse me there you go enjoy finish construction my gosh you've completed the construction research lab one has unlocked the following new technologies high voltage energy and science pack one. Oh, can you even believe it now if we go to inventory you can see that we had to put science packs in here so in order to get more research we have to we have to provide it with science packs now, science packs, um, oh, okay. It's 10 machinery parts and eight technium rods is one science pack. Now, I believe, is it? Where is the research here? Okay, oh, gee, that's right. So we obviously, um, we have science pack one, but then research lab two, or we can scroll all the way over here. And you, as you can see, we have batteries, we have containers. Um, conveyor balancers, which are a huge win. Uh, doors, inventory plus sizes, ladders, lights, loaders, mining drills. But if we look, is it over here? Where's the solar? Where's the solar stuff? High voltage uh, stuff. You can see. Oh, wow. Hold on a second. Where's high voltage energy? Does that unlock the small? Okay, that unlocks the small solar panel. All right. So this is what we want um, our science going to. So whenever we, um, so actually if I go into manage inventory and I throw in the one science pack, oh, no research active. I thought I selected this. Establish high voltage in your group of transformers and generators. That should. Oh, you know what? We have already unlocked it. I'm a dummy. <laughs> We've already. We've already unlocked it. <laughs> it's green. It's good. It's good. So what we need to do is if we want to do anything with it, we need to store it um, because I don't think our batteries are unlocked yet. Right? Batteries. Right. Okay. So start research. Okay. So it takes 30 science packs in order to get the battery built. So that's what we're going to do. That's what we're going to focus on. But that's going to end this episode. Thank you so much for coming out. If you guys enjoyed, if you did like subscribe, all the things, if you want to see more, leave a comment down below. Let me know. 
Um, but I just want to let you know that, hey, Foundry is out. It's on Steam now. It was through itch.io, but it's on Steam. There is a free demo that you can play. I'm not exactly sure, uh, like, how long the demo you can play is. I'm not positive. I could be playing the demo right now. I have no idea. But, um, yeah, thanks again for coming out. Have a wonderful day, and I'll see you next time.